Hello everyone, Rupert here and welcome to just a quick tutorial on how to use the Euro Truck Simulator 2 console. Now there are a number of reasons why you'd want to use the console but I'm going to tell you a couple of the most important ones and uh, so these will certainly be very useful if you're intending to go with any uh, Euro Truck convoys. So yeah, expanding on that, a lot of convoys they will post on a Facebook page or a Steam uh, help thing where the start destination where the start location is and where the uh, destination is now the destination could be I don't know Bergen or something like that and they would give you an exact like even they may even detail the exact depot that they want you at now I'm going to show you how to choose a specific job so you can choose the exact job they want you to do and still get the same money and be able to drop your trailer off because it's all well and good just scrolling through drop job lists at the start location but often the destination won't just it just won't be there so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you've got to do is uh, go into your documents then go into uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and go into config.cfg now um, it may just say config but uh, just remember this is in your documents not in the Steam location this is where you would put, drop your mods or your music um, and then there should be a config file right here. Now open that up uh, with notepad if, prompt, if prompted which you probably will be if you've never done it before then uh, press control F and find developer All right, and change this value here to 1 and what that does is that enables developer mode and I'll uh, explain more about that later and uh, enable the console as well which is a very very important feature now just save it when prompted and then that we're all done in terms of actual file editing now what we're going to want to do now is open up Eurotruck. Now, even if you're going in a convoy multiplayer, the first thing you've got to do to pick the job, you've got to do it in single player. Don't try and pick a job or use the developer console in multiplayer. There's a certain, there are a few certain functions you can do which I will let you know. However, most functions cannot be done in multiplayer to prevent hacking and just causing issues at Europort, for example. So we've got to open uh, just these standard ones. So we'll just go and do that. So open that up. I'll launch it with DirectX. And just skip through the uh, titles and okay so go into the game and we need to pick we need to kind of make up our own job so let's just go on a world map and have a look so let's imagine that the um, job was from Orbero um, from I don't know just from the repair shop in Orbero to uh, Renar Logistics in Oslo okay so we're going Orbero to Oslo, and we're going to Renault Logistics in, Os, uh, in Oslo. Now, of course, normally you'd have to go to Orbero and scroll through the job list, and it would take hours. So what we're going to do, click on Freight Market. Now, don't click on any spots. So just click on the C where there are no spots, because the spots filter it from a place we don't want to. We just want the whole job list of the whole of every single destination. You'll see there's tons and tons. But what we want to do is we want to find one that's going to uh, Oslo, is what we said. So sort it by destination. Yours is probably on uh, price. Sort by and then um, sort it by destination going upwards. Now as you can see it's all sorted by the ones on the right. So Arlborg and at the end we would then have beginning with Z. We've got Zurich. Okay. So we're going to Oslo. So we're going to find Oslo. So let's, it's probably going to be about there-ish. Um, go a bit further along. L. L. Nearly there nearly there now when you're here oh here we go we've got Oslo now we're going to run our logistics we said now use your mouse wheel or press these buttons because doing these it skips quite a lot as you can see but doing this it only skips one page so once you've found O just use these to scroll through and here we go we've got one going to run our logistics you can usually even select which trailer you want so there'll often be a range of trailers going there today today not so but uh, now what we're going to do I want to do is actually that's going from Orbero, so let's let's choose a different one just for the sake of it, just in case there wasn't one. So let's let's take this one. Now the thing you've got to take note of is that Graz. Just take note of that. Obviously, we're not actually going to start in Graz because we'd have miles and miles to go. We're going from Orbero, so let's take that one. Now the reason I didn't take the one from Orbero is just in case you don't have that opportunity. Okay. So we, what we've got to do is we've got to go to that start location. So. As you remember, it was Graz. So what you've got to type, you've got to press the tilde key. No, uh, not the tilde key, sorry. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll overlay something now to show you what button it is. It's the one next to the one key. And then type go to, um, and then Graz. Hit enter. 
Now the camera, not your truck, only the camera is taken to Graz. Okay, so you can see on the GPS that our little arrow is in fact there. Now what we've got to do is we've got to go to that end of that red line. That's just like you normally follow the GPS. Um, it's no different. Oh, I've just gone back to Virgin. Go back here again. It's just like the GPS normally would be, as you can see. Except you can just move around a lot more quickly. Now, this is from Postbed, so we're going to just go over the job. So this is, we're at the end of that red line. And what you've now got to do, you've got to press F9. Now this will drop your truck here. Just hit enter, and that will enter the job. So basically what we've done is we've just quick travelled to Graz to pick up this job. So now what we would normally do, uh, on a standard journey, we would just take this job and drive it all the way. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that job. You don't even have to connect it up to your trailer. It's like prefing F7 and enter. It will reconnect you. And then we're going to uh, we're going to go all the way to over to Orbero. So now I'm going to type go to Orbero. Now how do we spell that? Spell that. No. Okay. Right. Go into job market. The easiest way to do this. Um, uh, is ah, I'll tell you what we can do is we can just quickly jump all the way up and we are going to um, Oslo alright so type oh no we're going to Orbero aren't we that's what we're going so type in go to or rare bro now remember it's the button next to the one again I'll overlay a link and nothing's happened on screen but when we escape the camera will now be at Orbero now we said that we we're going to start in the repair shop, so we'll do just that, and we'll drop our truck right here in the repair shop. So now what we have is we have some Scanias going to Oslo, and if we look on the job mark on the world map, hopefully it's drawn the route in. Yes, it has, and you can see we've now got the route all the way to Albero. Now in the latest update, you can add in waypoints and make the route really crazy or whatever you want to do, um, but that's just in the latest update. I might do a review on that later on. However, now you can see that we are going from Orbero to Oslo, as specified by the convoy. Now the way Eurotruck works is it doesn't pay the money up front. It's not a stock amount. Eurotruck works out the price um, by the length of the job times a couple of other things. So there's lots of different factors to make it up. However, the route is the main factor. So essentially, what you're going to do is if you're taking it from Orbero to Oslo, it's going to be the same price as if you took that job actually from Orbero to Oslo. No, I'm afraid I'm not good with the pronunciation because see this uh, not my hometown. <laughs> but um, so it's gonna you're gonna get the same money as if you did that, even though it's all the way from Graz. You're not gonna get that money from going all the gra all the way to Graz because that was probably like ninety thousand. However, now we're probably only gonna get about ten thousand or so. Um, so that's that. Now not, then you would go and do your journey. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of other uh, techniques and tricks that you can do with the console that will be very useful. Now again, the most useful one is just the ability to just drop your truck. So if you get into a sticky situation, let's just make one for example. That's quite a sticky situation if I may say so. So, say we're like that, we can just hop over to single player and drop ourselves on the road and we're all back to normal again. It's very handy. And again, if you detach your trailer, it will reattach you and do whatever, as you can see. Um, that is doing that. Now the next thing we can do is we can actually change the time. So you can type G underscore set underscore time. Now all these commands will be in the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to then... So let's say we want the time to be... I don't know, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4.30. Type 04. That's the first hour. That's the hour. And then you do the second... You do uh, one space and then the minute. So 4.30. Now one thing to note is you can't go back in time. It's not possible. I have tried, like using negative, it doesn't work, so be careful uh, with that function because it could ruin a job because you'd be late. Um, so that's that. Another thing, handy little thing you can do, along with time, goes weather. So we can uh, type in G set weather. Now, if it's odd, if it's an odd number, it will be raining. So another one would be, I don't know, you could type in any number. So you could type in 55 and it would still be raining. Oops, you would have to put in weather, but anyway. So if you type in then G set weather and then an even number, for example, um, I don't know, 52, and it wouldn't be, and it'd be sunny. So that's how you do that. So odd number for, for raining and an uh, even number for nice and sunny. Okay, so what else can you do? Well, you can, uh, you can 
for example, hmm, what other useful things? Okay, so let's say you want to use the camera more so than the actual features that the developer can offer. So if you type in G fly speed, all one word, hit enter, whoops, then it, it tells you what it can be. Now, fly speed is how quickly the camera moves. So if your fly speed is 100, then it will move quite quickly. Whereas if I set it to 1, you can see it's moving very slowly. Very handy for doing cinematic shots or whatever you want. Equally, you could um, put it back up to 100 and you're going to move around really quickly. You can go into decimal numbers. It's just done on a scale from uh, 0 to 100, I believe. So uh, that's a very handy feature right there. Another thing that's not really very useful, but it's quite nice for time lapses or whatever. If you type in uh, warp, and uh, if you set it to 100, that's going to do a time lapse. Okay? This is going to increase everything. Now, interestingly, your, your truck isn't in a time lapse, so you could potentially drive around and have a bit of fun with that. But that might be quite nice for, again, shots. That uh, looks quite nice. Whatever. Um, Alright, so. Another handy feature is... We're going to have to kind of create a scenario for this. Let's say you're quite a long way down a road. So we'll just go this way because uh, there's road here. Let's say we're miles away from a repair shop, which I know this road isn't, but you've got to imagine it is. And then your friend rolls it. <coughs> what do you do? Because normally you would have to go to the repair shop and then go all the way back again. So let's say the truck's rolled here. So we'll just roll it somehow. That'll do. There you go, that's rolled. Oh, we need to set our warp back. So that warp is on a scale 1 being standard time and 0 0.5 being slow time and uh, all the stuff like that. So say, let's say... Bob here has rolled his truck. We're all waiting here on the hard shoulder. We're really annoyed because uh, we're going to have to go all the way back back to the repair shop normally. However, if he, if Bob just hops over to single player, he can just press F9, which is all good, and that's fine. However, let's say Bob was a bit stupid and pressed F7 and enter. Um, but your friends are still here. So we'll pretend Bob's off at the repair shop. But our friends are still here. Our, one, one of the other friends who's still here can go into single play himself and press Shift F11. Note this coordinate here. Alright. Alright, so now you've noted that down. Let's now swap over to Bob Cam. Alright. So we're going to go over to Bob Cam. So he pressed F7 and enter. And he's now in single player because he knows how much of a... How stupid he's been. So he's, he's over in single player, he's a bit annoyed, how is he going to get back to his friends? Alright, what we're going to do is we can actually go to those coordinates. Now remember this has got to be done in single player. We're going to go go to and then we're going to type in the coordinates we just noted down. So it's 15481.4 and then use the semicolon 19.06 Nine nine semicolon minus four eight two two five point six and hit enter and here we are Bob is now back where we left off so all his friends are going to be happy because Bob can simply truck drop his truck here and Bob's reunited with his friends without having to drive all the way back here um, again it's very useful because otherwise. I mean, even if you were using the developer console and just the camera, it would take quite a while to get the camera all the way down the road. But with this, you just use the coordinates. It's uh, the main function of that um, of that little window there is for bug reporting because you can type in your issue. So I don't know, road glitch or something, and report that. I'm not quite sure how that works. You'll have to look more into that yourself. But uh, those are the main functions of the developer console. Now, the weather works in multiplayer um, so you can set the weather which was this one here let's say we want it raining you can actually set that in multiplayer in case you get a frame drop at Europort because it's raining you can just quickly set that yourself and get rid of that horrible lag uh, the time one cannot be set and then that's simply because the server handles time and of course the go to function doesn't work either um, which uh, it's not really a problem because you can just hop over to single player. So remember, go to, go to single player. 
easy way of remembering that. Um, time is obviously going to be server controlled. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't even sleep in multiplayer. Um, and you've also got to remember that weather can be used in multiplayer. In fact, weather's pretty much the only one that can be used in, in multiplayer. You could probably use warp, but I mean, it wouldn't be much use because it's obviously not going to speed up um, all the other trucks. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial, everyone. Hope it's been of use to you. If I've missed any um, functions, let, uh, let me know in the description and I'll probably have to do a, uh, a part two of this video as functions get added and stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that everyone. And until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.